Let's look at an example. Here we're given a parametric curve, right? We're given parametric equations, and we want to figure out what sort of curve is represented by these equations. Right? Um, so there are two ways to approach the problem. We could think like a computer might if we were handing a computer these parametric equations, right? What the computer is going to do is the computer is going to plot sample points. So the computer is going to say, okay, let's take some sample values for t. And for each value of t, we're going to figure out what the corresponding point should be. Um, so we might initially, maybe we take minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, right? Take the integer samples because we're not a computer. Those are the easy ones to compute. And we come over here. Minus 2 squared is 4. Minus 2 plus 1, we get minus 1, right? And then we get minus 1 squared, we get 1. Oops, should have left. Let me... Let me leave a little bit of room. I want to add maybe some non-integer samples in here in a minute. Um, so here we're going to get 1, 1 minus 1, or minus 1 plus 1, we get uh, 0, sorry, 1, 0. At 0, we're going to get 0, 1. At 1, we get 1, 2. At 2, we get 4, 3. Okay, so we can plot those points, but you know maybe this doesn't quite give us that much to work on yet. So, but nonetheless, let's um, minus one, zero, one, two, three, and we go out one, two, three, four. Right? Okay. So we have. Um, we have 4 and negative 1, so we start here. We have that point. Uh, then we have 1 and 0, so we have that point. We have 0, 1, we have that point. We have 1, 2. 1, 2 is here. Okay. And then we have 4, 3. Okay. And so we're looking to essentially connect the dots, right? But maybe we should, maybe we should put in like minus 3 over 2, right? Uh, and see what we get. Well, okay, let's write that as we're doing, we're pretending to be computers, so let's write that as, as minus 1.5. Uh, so what do we get? We get, uh, we get minus, we get 9.4, 9 over 4, sorry, that's uh, 2.25, 2.25, and minus 3 over 2 plus 1, we get minus 0 0.5 there, right? We could try minus a half, so 0 0.5. Uh, 0 0.5 squared, we get uh, 0 0.25, and minus 0 0.5 plus 1, we get 0 0.5, right? We try plus a half, we get 0 0.25, right? Um, we get 1.5. We try 3 halves, so 1.5, we get 2.25, and 2.5, all right? And so maybe we try to plot those points as well, right? It, I mean, this is a pretty crude um, thing, so we'll do our best. Um, so two and a quarter, and we're about halfway, so we're about there, right? Um, and then x is a quarter, y is equal to a half, so we're about there. Um, and, then, and then we have this one, okay? So this is, this point is here, 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 and then one more, right? At 2.5 and 2 and a quarter, we're about there, okay? And we could, we could keep going with this, tr keep trying to connect the dots. That was a little bit low, right? But we can start to get a pretty good idea, right? So if we start filling this in, we get a pretty good idea of our curve. All right, there it is. Okay. All right, so we get that, and we might look at that and say, it looks vaguely parabolic. And so you say, okay, I think that's a parabola. Is it a parabola? How can I actually tell that it's a parabola? Um, well, one of the things I might come up here and do is say, I notice that um, 
y is equal to t plus 1 means that t is equal to y minus 1, and that means that x, which is t squared, x is equal to y minus 1 squared, right? And in that form, I recognize a parabola, right? It's a parabola opening to the right, shifted up by one unit, which is exactly what we have.